Hello everyone. I'm back again with another video of mine. I'm Mona Lisa Joshi, the founder and director of Chrysanthemum Chronicles. It's a contemporary publishing house that I run from New Delhi and this video is for my uh, channel, the channel that I run for uh, doing some reviews, reading out stories and also that I had been doing excerpt reading series from this book, Macabre Tales. So my channel is Mona Lisa's Literary Sanctuary and you can just go and go to the link and subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you are uh, updated about any video that I post because so many books that I have to uh, read and I have to do excerpt reading series and today I am going to do an another of the excerpt reading series and I am taking the story of Rashmi Agrawal in your bloody eyes and this is story number 13 and uh, I just want to complete this uh, except reading series of this book fast so that I can take up another book so I'm just skipping up uh, skipping out two stories and I'm going to read from the 13th story in your bloody eyes by Rashmi Agrawal from the book Macabre Tales. This is the first thriller anthology, a dystopian one that we did last year. This is the first book published also from my publishing banner. So without further ado, let me start reading out her story In Your Bloody Eyes, as you can see by Rashmi Agrawal. Oh, I'm so excited. Just wait until you see the house. Shlok feels excited to have her convinced after urging for days to check out the project. This society looks perfect to him on the website. The location suits their preference too. Promise me, you won't nitpick like earlier. Okay, but on one condition, Akriti leans in and kisses him briefly. You won't overstep the budget. Shlok hops out of the car and Akridi accompanies him to the site's office. The technology-laced facilities are the interesting angles but make the project expensive. It's pricey, but we will negotiate. He gets starting in return. When Akridi fixes the headset, the unpainted walls come alive. With a remote, she changes the colors and adorns paintings on them. A set of three colors splashed portraits of nature and its different strokes Next, she turns to the bathroom and is awed at how blue the water looks in the jacuzzi. She passes the goggles to Shlok and moves towards the door. Hey, don't go. Wait, he pulls Akriti closer. This looks so sexy, isn't it? Imagine both of us coiled inside the tub, you playing with the hot, bubbly water and I caressing your back. He whispers in her ear, not giving a damn about the person touring them around the house. Akriti nudges him in the belly but she re relishes the view of the mundane bathroom becoming their play area. The possibilities of shades, artifacts and furniture in bringing his dream house to reality are Im immersive. Shlok gets busy savouring the other rooms of the house and thrifty Akriti sits with the manager in the garden. She shuffles through the catalogue, asking questions about the price, breakup, taxes and negotiation. If Shlok likes the house, money would never cross his mind for a nanosecond, she knows. And he seems already sold. Virtual reality has the power to suck you into the imagery and lures you into the charm of fakeness. As a gaming engineer, she knows better than anyone. Ma'am, you can take a tour now and I am sorry for only one goggle. A nasty kid broke one yesterday and one piece was lost. Well, stolen recently. The manager says in a professional tone, his crisp green shirt rustles with his excited voice and his apology clearly looks like a formality. Akriti waves her hand to shut his sales pitch. She knows how enticing such gears are to be easily snuck away. Shlok gets busy discussing the amenities and neighborhood. Looking at Akriti's growing interest, he decides to remit the deposit soon. Your device glitches a bit. Mr. Prane, Akriti returns and puts the gear on the table, looking nervous. Get it fixed, otherwise you will lose customers. The manager quickly picks the device and fixes it on his eyes. It looks fine, ma'am. Let me take you to the server room in the office and show the designs and the software itself. 
No, no, I am fine. I want to leave now. Akriti wipes her face with a facial tissue and asks Shlok to leave. While he keeps convincing her to stay and check the simulation over the server, she remains adamant. When the discussion starts to drift towards an argument, Shlok picks the cue to leave. The debate continues in the car too. Upon Shlok's insistence, Akriti tells him the problem. Shlok hits at the brake hard. So you saw a cat mewing at you and it even pounced to hurt you? That doesn't sound like a glitch, babe. Maybe just a wandering cat. He pats at her shoulder in assurance. See these scratches on my back? Her peachy orange, three months old Louis Vuitton looks shabby with the three lines showing the black leather beneath its skin. And then I checked the kitchen with naked eyes. The cat wasn't there. Could be a stray cat, Akriti. It's virtual reality. I know what I'm talking about. There wasn't no stray cat. So here I will stop. Otherwise, I will spoil the story. I will give you the spoiler basically. <clears throat> this is basically a story based on a, a virtual reality. And what are the mysterious elements? For that, you have to read the uh, story and for reading out the story you have to grab this book from Amazon or Flipkart and she uh, the writer has uh, with great luxury used the technology in her story and she has uh, given such elements in it which will take you by surprise and uh, there seems to be a couple more much in love and they are buying some house and through virtual reality they are able to make out what kind of settings they need and what happens next uh, what is this cat uh, akriti is talking about the protagonist of the story and um, is it real or it's just her imagination uh, for all these uh, mysteries to be solved you have to pick this book up fast from amazon or flipkart and then don't forget to leave a review and I'm just about to finish this book. Uh, there are some three, four more stories left, which I'll wind up complete. Uh, uh, I mean, a little faster this time. So by making videos uh, in a more random pace so that I can take up some other books because I have been very keen to take the other two books. One is mine and the third one is on Frida Kahlo which I'm very keen to read out from and uh, yeah so you know the drift why I'm making these videos why I'm doing this excerpt reading series from this book Macabre Tales so that you have the reason you have a good reason to pick this book up from Amazon and you just uh, don't forget to leave a review because that will motivate all the writers who are part of this book and I'm still very proud of it because this remains the first one and it will always be special as I keep on saying so I'm sure you will uh, after watching this video and the other rest of the except reading series that I have done on my channel you will watch those as well and find a good reason to pick, pick, pick this book fast and uh, share your feedback on Amazon and Flipkart so see you around and wait for some more videos and take care have a good time